Hello Darts Nuts and welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm going to be checking out the first mass production model from a fairly new company called Imagine Darts. Uh, I say it's a fairly new company because they started in 2018 but the main focus then was on custom made darts which they still do a lot of and they finally decided to go into full production so this particular model is the first model and it's called the Coco Sen or Coco Sen and it's a steel tip dart so a little bit different than some of the Asian companies that I normally review which is normally soft tips so it's nice to see a steel tip dart um, I'll put the link up in the description to their Facebook page so you can have a look and I'll put the link up to where you can buy the darts so let's check them out so imagine that is a company from Taipei in Taiwan and this is the Caucasian. They also do the soft tip model, but this is the steel tip in 22 gram, 90% tungsten, and it retails for uh, 28.80 New Taiwan dollar, which is approximately 75 pound. So the darts are inside this plastic packaging, and inside that there's a cardboard box and little business card there and this has got a little flap with a magnetic closure so just open that so on the top you've got a foam tray holding the barrels in place and underneath that you've got another foam section and you've got a set of standard shape uh, imagined flights with pre-slotted holes and you've got a set of clear polycarbonate imagine stems medium size so the dart's fitted with a silver point and it's a fairly short barrel dart uh, quite typical of a lot of Asian barrels where the grip is mostly on the rear but there's a little bit there on the front um, quite an unusual shape it's got a fairly longish tapered nose and then it's got this section with the little notches cut through and then it's got a quite wide indented section around the middle and then it tapers from there to the rear where most of the grip is which is made up of a kind of a thin ring grip with the uh, staggered lateral cuts and fairly deep grooves in between and then as you get towards the rear got a kind of a beveled ring and then a more normal style of ring and um, great looking dart but one thing that I notice with a lot of Asian barrels as you can see they do tend to polish the tungsten to a high shine it takes a little bit more work to do that but it always gives it a really nice look and it's uh, as you can see got a kind of a very silvery look obviously over time it'll it'll dull because of the oxidation effect and off your fingers all the grease and what have you but it shows you they put a little bit more effort into the presentation of the dart so very nice um, grip wise it's very low on the front probably just a little bit more there because you're getting a little bit of a, that lip where the edge is but on the rear it's probably about high medium feels fairly comfortable there but I have a feeling it could work well for middle and rear grippers but as I'm a front gripper we'll see how it goes and there's the Imagine clear stems and these clear Imagine flights The dad's fit with a 27mm silver point. The nose of the barrel is quite square but it's got a rounded chamfered tip and it's tapered which is 9.2mm before it gets into the section with the notches cut through which is around about 7.9mm 
and then it kind of drops down into this indented section which is 5.8 millimeters and then you've got a pronounced ring of 1.7 millimeters on the rear it's a mix of ring grips and with lateral cuts and a bevel that's 9.4 and then on the very end it's a normal ring grip of 5 millimeters length is 39 millimeters width is 7.5 millimeters That's 22.14 grams, 22.08 grams, and 22.15 grams. Full setup is 23.99 grams. A little awkward to balance but the balance point is just on the lips or front of center and with the supplied setup it moves just slightly behind and this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights the front half is quite a low level grip and the middle just slightly grippier because of the little ledges but the dart is mostly a rear grippers dart so six for the rear I didn't put the same amount of power in on that last start oh blimey hands are a little bit sweaty as well but the nose has got a slightly um, strange shape so on some of the, the throws that I was throwing there I was gripping a little bit more on the grooves and I think on the last one I, I tended to grip a little bit closer to the nose where that kind of bevel part is so that's a little bit off putting but I usually prefer more grip in any case like I said before I think it's more of a, um, a rear grippers dart but because it's only short if you're a front gripper you might be happy enough gripping it around the middle or a little bit further up from the nose so anyway I'll try the middle section it's quite a smooth part there but there's like a little bit of a, a lip so see how that goes Feels a little bit more uniform gripping it there. But I think a lot of these uh, short barrels from Asia, they do tend to be made for rear grippers. Which is no bad thing because if that's what the majority of the people over there are throwing with a rear grip then great but not too bad from the middle but again not enough grip for me so obviously the the main grip is on that rear section so let's see what that feels like Definitely more grip there. Um, it's flying quite smooth through the air. Just a little bit of spin on that last one. Oop, don't know where that one went. So, nice one for rear grippers who like a sharp barrel dart. Balance overall isn't bad, but with it being a sharp barrel, usually ends up being okay balance anyway but uh, not bad for me from the rear so it should be good for natural rear grippers
Let's check out the ratings. It's a nice looking little dart and I do like that silvery shine to the tungsten so 8. Grip is only on the rear section really so 6 for that part. Weight match was 2 that were fairly close one was a little bit off 8.5. Quality overall really nice so 8 and value is a little bit expensive so 5.5. So there you go, the Imagine Coco Sen. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> a really nice little dart. Uh, I do like how highly polished the tungsten is. Got a very silver-like appearance. Um, like I said, I think it's definitely one for rear grippers if you like a short barrel dart, but I think some front grippers will be very happy with it. But obviously for me, not quite enough grip there, but uh, balance wise it was really nice and quite smooth through the air um, so it's nice to see another new dart from an, another new brand I know it's a little bit more expensive to get these sort of Asian darts in the UK but which is a bit of a shame but it's nice that they're coming out with a steel tip barrel instead of a soft tip so that's one good thing but uh, I have seen some of the custom darts that they've made, and really nice. So I'm looking forward to seeing what more things they come up with. So that's the end of the video. If you stick around, I'll put the gallery up for you to have a good look at. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And I'll see you on the next video. Happy darting.